Hey, Mark, it's great to be back with you. Great to see you again, Alan. This is getting yes. very, very comfortable and very familiar. I know we could do this a lot. By the way, I live for the ampules. You know this? I know we're not making a pitch for Babor, but I, I, I've said this to you before. If I was lost on a desert island and had only one piece of skincare I could keep with me, it would be ampules. I just love them. Well, they're part of our quintessential range, mate. That we're certainly yep. pioneers in that space. I want to talk about uh, one of what I think is probably my very, very favorite parts. I know we call it storytelling, but um, people buy the picture you paint, right? Mm -hmm. And that painting is about storytelling. And we're not talking about Brothers Grimm. We're talking about real stories that mean things. Address stories. It's such a huge subject. Absolutely. People buy the picture you paint. And I think this is where many people miss that opportunity. Remember that only 7% is the message and 93% is the messenger. So, and out of that 93%, 55% is body language. Why is that so important? Because you're painting a picture. When it comes to it too many times and we find in skincare and cosmetics, people want to talk about an ingredient. They want to talk about something that people have no idea what they're talking about rather than what their skin may look like when they use this product. Uh, you know, stories, pictures, paintings, communication, it is an equation. It all comes together through the pictures you paint. And you need all those pieces. This is not about necessarily verbally talking. That's, that's only one part of it. But you've got to be able to produce the other parts too to tell a, a good tale. It almost makes me think of, look, we watch TV and movies because they tell us a story. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. We listen to comedians and speakers because they wind things into stories. Right. You, you can't belittle how important this particular topic is about being able to paint this picture. Look at how much we we pay for entertainment. Most people have the largest TV screen they can afford in their home. People have a nice stereo if they want to have music. This all creates and paints pictures. It's all about the storytelling. And I think so many estheticians and so many spa people have so many great stories to share. People want to hear that because that's what brings the emotion to the conversation. And what you do is even with the questions you ask, what you do is don't assume that you understood that answer when you ask that question. I would say something like, help me understand. Did I hear you correctly? You are traveling a lot and your skin is feeling hydrated. Is that correct? And what you're doing, and, and you need the hydration or you want the hydration, and you're painting that picture on what they're actually looking for and the needs base. This goes back a little bit about buying yourself first. Um, as, you, as you describe that, that's what it sounds like to me. And, and people, we recorded that previously. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go back and see part one here. Um, lastly, as it relates to stories, and I, I think I've known this, I've been a storyteller uh, my whole life. Periodically, my parents said I made stuff up. But for the most part, when you have a true story and you're telling it, people feel the way that you emote about this uh, reality, and it makes it much easier for them uh, to buy into whatever it is that you're talking about, right? Yeah. Well, you take them on a journey. You take them on a discovery. Ah. You actually take them away, and it's not just then trying to infuse them with information you take them on an emotional journey. And you know, it, it might be the color, it might be the feel, it may be the smell. And as you start to do this, people start to form the pictures in their mind, so then they're relating to it. By the way, we've been telling a lot of stories and they're all true too, so um, I love it. This is actually, probably we could do an hour on this, but we're not gonna take that long to do it. Yeah. So yeah. thanks again for being uh, with us and I, I love this conversation of storytelling. We're going to do more about it as well. Can I just finish up with one thing, Alan? Yes. I think it's really important that when we're in the storytelling, make sure it's not a dueling monologue. Make sure you're not talking over each other. And it's a mortal wound when it's about yourself, just per se, unless you're trying to make a point. I always say, don't make a point without a story and don't have a story without a point. 93% listening. I heard, heard you say that a number of times. So thank you, Mark. Appreciate your time today. Look forward to finishing up shortly. Thanks a lot. Take care, Alan. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.